umuhimu umuhimu uh, ya huduma ya kinabii na vile vile mafuta ya kinabii katika wewe kupigana vita ili urejeshe urejeshewe hatima nataka ujue kama hatima upiganiwa <laughs> hatima utetewa destiny is fought for Dada we kuoleka kuna vita utapigana ya kiroho. Mwanaume wewe kufanikiwa kwa kazi yenye Mungu alikupangia. Kuna inafika wakati kuna vita vya kiroho utapigana. Mzazi watoto wako waingie kwa hati mama kusudi ambayo Mungu aliwapangia. Hakuna hakuna udiplomasia. There is no diplomacy. When it comes to you contending for destiny. Na vile nimesema Mungu hajapanga mkondo mmoja tu ya kukusaidia. Mungu amepanga mikondo nyingi katika mfanyiko wa neema yake ili wewe uingie kwa hatima. Na mambo haya na hatima ndio maana nimewekwa hapa. Mimi niliitiwa mafuta yaliyopewa ni au mitume na naenda katika unabii kusaidia hatima za watu kukombolewa kufunguliwa kuthibitishwa haleluya na ku, kuhifadhiwa katika hali ya kutimiliza makusudi ya Bwana so kama unaelewa hiyo basi sasa unanielewa kuna watu kama hutatangamana ama utakumbana na huduma ya kinabii ambayo nimehubiri alafu mtu nabii ana kitu inaitwa a prophetic mantle ana kitu inaitwa a prophet mantle utaiona na macho ya kawaida this one is a prophet mantle hii ni kitambara ya maombezi that is kama nataka kuomba mahali na nasaki watu wanisumbue ninajifunika nayo ina maana penye mimi nisiwe distracted ni kitambulisho changu cha cha hali ya kuomba nikiamka labda nasikia eh unazamuka lakini uko katika hali ambazo you want to be conscious you are praying i place it on my shoulder so this is physical kiroho kila nabii ana utambulisho aidha ni rungu fimbo ama ni vazi kama hili ama ni mafuta anointing oil ama upanga ambao ni biblia so ukiniona kiroho utaona nina biblia nimebeba utaniona nayo majorly i was given two mantles one is this word nilipewa kiroho i was given a bible i was given a bible and two i was anointed nilipewa mafuta haleluya ina kazi yake na kazi yake ndio hii leo tunasoma Isaia 14 mstari kuanzia 24 Isaia chapter number 14 verse number 24 So hapa Mungu anazungumzia mambo na hatima 
Hapa Mungu anazungumzia mambo na hatima. Hatima ni inamaanisha nini? What is what does destiny means? Destiny simply means the purpose for which God created you. The reason why you live. The reason for you are living. According to God, why do you live? Kutokana na Mungu, kulingana na Mungu. Mbona unaishi? So, sababu ya wewe kuishi kulingana na vile Mungu ametaka ndio inaitwa hatima. So, hallelujah. So we we draw definition for our destiny in God. Hallelujah. Na sema hivi the Lord of hosts has sworn saying surely as I have thought so shall it come to pass. Bwana wa majeshi ameapa akisema Wale ambao mnazima mlisha watoto we allow you but listen to the word atukiwa nje. So the Lord of hosts has sworn saying surely as I have thought so shall it come to pass. And as I have purpose, so shall it stand. Kiswahili. Shina ne. Shina ne nasema. Bwana wa majeshi ameapa akisema. Hakika yangu. Kama vile vilivyo azimia. Ndivyo itakavyo kuwa. Na mm. kama nilivyo kusudia mm-hmm. ndivyo itakavyotokea. So Bwana mwenyewe ameapa. Mambo hayo makusudi na azimio inazungumzia hatima. So the Lord has sworn. She's fine, she's fine, she's fine. She's fine watching her kitty. Though she's drunk in power later. So the emphasis there is the Lord has sworn. Mungu anaapa. Na anaapa kwa mambo gani? ana hapa hapa mambo na hatima mambo na makusudi so the lord is swearing so it is very in the bible that god swears and in every instance where god has sworn the, it must be very serious hata mwanadamu wa kawaida uki hapa lazima kuna jambo ambalo ni muhimu sana though wengine na hapa nitaua mtu vile paulo watu wali hapa watamua wakafanya kutangaza wanyoi nywele wanyoi ndevu mpaka wawe Paulo evao lakini Mungu pia ana hapa na Mungu ana hapa na anazimia anafanya azimio kuhusu mambo na hatima wakati dada hujaoleka na miaka yako inapita God is concerned wakati mwanaume hauoi na wewe si Paulo God is concerned kati dada hauoleki hmm? na wewe wewe sio ana hata ana alio, alioleka waka bwanake akamwacha baada ya ndoa ya miaka saba. wakamwacha mjane kama kuna ina hali 30 akaishi the rest of her life bila ndoa huyo si wewe kama ulitwa kuoleka oleka kama ulitwa uoe uoe Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hayo wengine wataka kuoleka maana waliamua waoleke. Ni sawa tu. Lakini kita ujui ni kwamba wewe hali yako hiyo kama hailingani na vile Mungu alivyopanga then you are a saboteur of destiny. Wewe ni mhujuma wa hatima. Maana kunazo ndoa na kunazo familia na kuzo kazi kunazo huduma kunazo makanisa kunazo mwito ambazo Mungu ameyakusudia kwamba anayatumia kufanikisha hatima So mimi Mungu ameniweka kwa minajili ya hatima So Mungu hapa anafanya kuazimia that shows kwamba in matters destiny God is concerned Alafu mtaro 25 anasemaje that I will break the Assyrian in my land and upon my mountain tread him under foot then shall his yoke depart from off them and his burden depart from off their shoulders this is the purpose that is purpose upon the whole earth and this is the hand that is stretched out upon all the nations 
For the Lord of hosts has purposed. And so, who shall disannul it? And his hand is stretched out. And so, who shall turn it back? Kiswahili. 25 inasema kwamba nitavunja huyo mwashuri vipande vipande katika inchi yangu na juu ya mlima wangu nitamkanyaga chini ya miguu yangu ndipo nira yake iliyo juu yao itapodoka na mzigo wake utatoka mabegani mwao hilo ndilo kusudi lililo kusudiwa duniani mote na huo ndio mkono ulionyoshwa juu ya mataifa yote maana bwana wa majeshi amekusudia na ni nani atakayelibatili na mkono wake ulionyoshwa ni nani atakayeugeuza nyuma haleluya bwana asiwe chenye tunasoma hapo ni kwamba Mungu ashafanya maamuzi na Mungu ameweka wazi God is revealing to us his very real intention that matters concerning destiny he is not joking kama mambo kuhusu hatima Mungu anasema I am very serious sema kwamba mimi Mungu nina uhusika sana Nina sehemu yangu katika wewe kufanikisha hatima. So wakati mtu hauna kazi na kwa mpango wa Mungu inapaswa uwe na kazi. Wakati Mungu wewe hauna biashara ile hali kwa, mam, kwa mpango wake Mungu wewe utakana ufanye biashara. Wakati wewe unauguza magonjwa, magonjwa siongelee malaria, homa na siongelee vitu hizo naongelea unaukuza terminal ailment yet kwa kalele ya Mungu haitakani uguze magonjwa wakati wewe mtu una umo katika maangamizi yet in the plan of God sasa hivi ndakana wewe hudumu katika afya na ushinde wakati wewe mtu unaishi mitaa maeneo na nchi ambamo Mungu hajakutuma Yet kuna maeneo ambayo Mungu anakungojea na hujaenda. Wakati wewe unahangaika sana, yet Mungu amekusudia dawa yako iko kanisani. Mungu anashangaa na mambo hayo huimfanya Mungu kuwa na majonzi. I've said before that God is never happy when we are unhappy. Nimesema Mungu wa afurai wakati sisi hatuna furaha wakati unalia Mungu analia wakati unahangaika Mungu anashangaa anasikitika na masikitiko yake Mungu masikitiko yake Mungu ni kwamba nimekupea nabii nimekupea mtume nimekupa mtumishi nimemweka mafuta nimemtia suluhisho ambazo itakufaa mbona haujampata Haleluya. Haleluya. Ujinga ambao mwanadamu atakuwa nao duniani na, na ni wengi wanao ni ili, ili, hali ya kutotambua kwamba Mungu ni msaada wako. The greatest deception that, um, that man will always have yet God has not ordained it to be so is when man does not acknowledge neither does he recognize that my help is in the Lord. That your help is in God. Kwamba msaada wako imo ndani yake Bwana. Na hiyo ndio ujinga imeshika wanadamu. By the time watu wanarudi kwa Mungu kwamba eh hey, acha nijaribu wanakuja kwa Mungu kujaribu. Wametumia akili zao. Wametumia maarifa yao. Wametumia pesa zao, umaarufu wao. Wamejaribu uwezo wao na katika hali hizo wameingia kwa devil worship freemason uganga uchawi ushirikina eh wengine wameenda kwa bahari wakarudi wengine sasa hivi nasikia wanaenda kwa mass nyote mewashinda kufikia wengine nasikia wanaenda kwa mwezi bado wanajaribu kuna vitu ndani yao ambazo hawajashiba wamesema kwamba kushiba kwao imo katika bwana so wakati wewe mwanadamu wewe mwanaume wewe mwanamke unasema pana Mungu kama ana suluhisho acha nitafute utahangaika 
Wacha nitafute mahali pengine. So unahangaika sana. Yet mwenye Mungu amekuwekea ama ila hali ambayo ingekusaidia iko tu ndani ya kanisa. Iko tu na nabii wa Mungu fulani. Iko tu na apostle wa Mungu fulani. Kiss. Na naubiri hivi kwa sababu Mungu ametaka nikuhubirie na Mungu akulazimishe kuokoka. Kuna watu watasikia mahubiri haya lakini wamekataa kuokoka. But what is God doing? God is giving you a provision. God is making for you a provision. That you either grab the truth now so that the day of reckoning and judgment which of course shall come that on that day you shall not have no excuse of saying I was never reached I was never taught I was never told. Munga na munga na ametuweka si tukuhubirie na hata ukisipokoka kazi mimi nimefanya. Bora umesikia neno hili. Chenye utafanya nayo ni juu yako. Kama utaamuka, amuka. Kama utalala, lala. Kama utapuuza, puuza. But mine is to tell you wake up and hear ye the voice of the Lord that God is concerned about you fulfilling destiny and you pursuing destiny and you becoming what he ordained you to become. Haleluya. Watu wengi hawaelewi vitu ambazo natafuta zote. Lazima ukitafuta kama ikufikishi kwa Mungu basi ni bure. In all your pursuit if whatever you are pursuing does not lead you into God and fulfilling godly mandate then it is useless. It is vanity. So mwana hapa Mungu anasemaje? So verse number 24 is the declaration of God. Usari wa 24 ni azimio lake Mungu. Na anazimia kwamba mambo na hati ma mimi Mungu nina ninamaanisha. Na nina matarajio kwamba kuna matarajio Mungu anayo kwamba utatimiza. So when you're not working and earning, when you're not serving, when you're not doing what God called you to do, you are frustrating God. So Mungu anasema kwa ajili hiyo chochote ambacho itasimama ya kukuzuilia. Mimi Mungu nitapambana nayo. Na kama ni kuua hata naweza uua. Na ndio maana Mungu anaweza ondoa watu fulani kwa ajili yako. Mungu anaweza ondoa. Lakini leo nimezungumza mambo hayo na shazungumza lakini leo tako jo kama Mungu ameamrisha vita kwa ajili ya hatima yako. Ameamrisha vita na vita hivyo ni wewe uokolewe. Na nasema nitamvunja mwashuri. Yaani ataharibu pingamizi. Atapingana na hali zinazokupinga. Atainukia hali zinazokuinukia. Lengo lake ni kwamba siku ya kiyama usiseme kwamba haukutimiza hatima maana hati haukusaidiwa. Ndio maana wengine wetu hatulali vizuri, hatukuli, eh? Hatuna amani na pumziko until kuna mahali Mungu amekuweka. Kwambia onyango hapo tumemaliza. Okay? Let's move on. Hasa angalia mtu kama wewe Mungu ameniweka hapa. <laughs> ameniweka hapa. Na nimewekwa hapa Mungu akaka rasili mali zote hizi. Amepanga malaika hawa wote. Amemwaga mafuta hii yote. Na akanipa fimbo ya kinabii akaripa fimbo la umetume kwa ajili ya wewe mtu mmoja Jasi how God is so serious Mungu anazainua watu wengi sana kwa makusudi ya mtu mmoja Just one soul Now in Acts chapter number 9 and chapter number 10 There is a man called who Cornelius a centurion Na mtu huyu Mungu alitumana mtume Petro. Mungu akatumana Roho Mtakatifu. Mungu akatumana malaika wake. Then Mungu akatumana vision. Kwa mtu mngapi? Mtu mmoja. Aposto Onyango wa wakati huu alitwa Aposto Peter. So Aposto Peter onyakatiza anaitwa Aposto Onyango. 
Mungu anawaambia so and so mambo yake. So leo tumetekwa because of you one soul. Sasa unapata watu kama hawa niko hapa na naanza kuwahudumia alafu na zapata na chomoka kutoka kanisani. Na kuambia ndio maana hukumu ya Mungu kwa watu ambao wanapuuza hatima itakuwa kali. The resources that God employs. The resources that God deploys are priceless. But why will God deploy them? Because he's interested in your fulfilling destiny. Sio wote maito hapa kuhubiri. Kitu maito niletee pesa ni hubiri. Sasa hiyo pesa hutaiba, utaenda ufanye kazi. Utaenda ufanye biashara. Na hiyo biashara ama kazi imo katika mpango wa Mungu. So ili utimilize hayo, nikihubiri hapa tunahubiri na wewe we are partners lazima Mungu atakupa afya uzima akupe kibali uko nje maana uweze fanya kazi kama una afya so kuna katika hatima yako uko na afya in the plan of god for you to fulfill destiny god gives you health god give you strength Mungu anakupa nguvu god gives you wisdom Mungu anakupa hekima God gives you ability to make wealth. Mungu anakupa uwezo wa kuunda mali. Deuteronomy 8:18. For as God say that I am it is me God who giveth the power to make wealth. It is the Lord Jehovah who empowers you to make wealth. Ni Mungu mimi ninayekuwezesha ama nakupa nguvu kutengeza mali. So ujuzi, taaluma Mungu anakupa. So kuna watu ambao you must go for your engineering course. You must go for your medical course. You must pursue your entrepreneurship. But because it is in the plan of God. So wala ambao wangekwa huduma I will do anything just that I may live to fulfill what God has called me to do. That I can do anything. Revise your theology. You will not do anything. There are levels of doing anything. There, that level we call it. And whatsoever thy, thou findeth to do. Whatsoever thou findeth. Employ your hand to do it. That's another level. You are my survivor and I'm a strugglers. But eventually. God will give you something that you must do. A businessman. Not selling human parts. Not selling cocaine. Not selling alcohol. Not becoming a commercial sex worker. Hiyo siyo biyashi. Hiyo siyo hatima. Kisuli nimesema kamba munga jakuitia kazi. Uuze mwili. Yani nishot kahaba. Munga jakuitia hiyo. Uuze bangi, uuze vitu pana kuna hali ambazo Mungu anakuwezesha uunde kipesa kwa kibali yake kwa mafuta yake kwa uwezo wake ili uishi maisha inayoheshimika sio maisha ya pesa mingi um, inasema kuheshimishwa na Bwana katika hali hiyo nikihubiri tunahubiri na wewe maana umelipa mtandao ni hubiri Umelipa stima ni hubiri nayo umeme Umelipa mimi kusimama hapa yani umechangia Umanua maji ni kunywe Umechangia petroli Unachangia huduma hapa kufikia watu You are a partner So ukiambia Mungu ni Mungu Unataka nisaidie kazi yako So nitasaidia na vipi but that does not warrant you kukosa ibada in the name Mungu sikuji kanisani nimeenda kukutafutia pesa that would be a lie of the devil so god i'm not coming to church i've gone for fishing to bring money so that me and you can eat fish that's deception 
Watu ambao wanasema wewe uliko wapi? Si baadaye hey, Mungu si Mungu <laughs> some people want to treat God like a wife. Mzee akiulizwa, "Eh, hey, siku mbili unajakuja nyumbani?" Unaambia mwanamke na mwangalie na macho za simba. Mwanamke. Yaani au sema anakwambia, "Na siku mbili unajakuja nyumbani baba John." Unaambia mwanamke, "Eh, hey, iko chakula ya kukula hapa?" Sasa unakula bado manyamaza. Una, unapanga lu taangusha bomu. Umwangushie bomu moja. Nile bomu taangusha mwambie mwanamke. Hizo siku mbili sijakuwa nyumbani. Nilienda kutafuta. Ndio wewe hii chakula umeweka uletoa pesa wapi? Nani alikununulia hii chakula? Sasa mwanamke I, I, I was busy. Matokeo ndio hii chakula, okay? Na wanaume ambaye ni kama mimi kalba sijaokolewa, nikamwambia think. Asa watu wanakuja nayo kasuba kwa Yesu. What you're not telling God? Ni ile tu na hofu kidogo. You're not telling God God. Think. Unaepa kanisa. Unawacha wokovu. Sande uko busy. Ukikonfrontiwa uki eh uki, uki, ukifumaniwa na mtu wa Mungu kama atakufumania. Naambia ah nilifungua duka ndio nipate pesa ya kulipa rent ya kanisa. Kuna watu wanaweza leme excuses. Please. God is so rich. Kiasi kwamba si lazima uende ufanye kazi sande ukuje umlipia rent. Fanya kazi siku tano, siku ya sita kaa nyumbani na hiyo ingine tukuone kama hutalipa rent. Bora waamini Mungu. So hiyo Kiswahili ya kwamba mimi nafanya kazi ndio angalau tusaidie kanisa yetu maana ni maskini. We. Bible says kwamba Mungu anatupa sisi uwezo wa kutengeza mali. Mali hiyo kiitengeza ni kwa makusudi ya Bwana kwamba ukule, ushibe, usitusi watu na usiletie Mungu aibu. Alafu ulete kanisani usimame na kazi ya Bwana. Aja kuomba asilimia 90, haya amesema tu 10%. Leo tuseme kama mimi naangaika because napenga Mungu 90%. So God I just said staki mabishano just 10 maana kuna watu wanaweza sema hapa na tarumbeta Mungu nilikupeanga 90% wacha tufike mbinguni utaona watu ambao watapiga mayoe mimi nitakuwa hapo kimbele mbele sana nitasema <laughs> nilikubiria i did not ask you for 90% i only ask you for 10% so katika mambo na hatima Mungu anakupa fedha. Mungu anakupa fedha, pesa, siling. Kama ni Kiarabu nilienda Sudan, gurus gurus. Kama ni Kiarabu. Nilienda pale sikujua kuongea Kiarabu. I was a businessman. Huko <laughs> ndio Mungu alinitoa. Mimi nilitolewa nchi ya ugenini nirudi nifanye nifanye huduma. So huko Kiarabu wanaita dola gurus gurus. So tunaongea na Waarabu naona wanaambia gurus gurus. So sikio nilikaanza nikashinda Mungu so ngine saidia ni jua lugha ya ya bubu. Wewe mjifunishe maluga ya bubu because kuna watu mtahubiria bubu. Kimwambia haleluya haleluya. Praise God, praise God. Atakuwa na kuangalia na kufanya. Yaani unasema So asa lazima muambie haleluya haleluya. Unafanya mikono hivi ajua unasema haleluya haleluya. Anajua anapiga na kushapiga shangwe kwa Yesu. Sasa mimi kule niliana siku anajua mambo hayo. But listen. There is a place of your wealth in destiny fulfillment. So kama uko hapo umesota, please leo usote. Lakini kuanzia sasa nitakwambia hiyo kusota kwako kama ni ya, hakuna mapenzi ya Mungu mtu kusota ama hakuna kusota kwa mapenzi ya Mungu uh, kwa mtu kwa mapenzi ya Mungu. Because sasa tutahubiri aje umekauka nimekauka hauna sina umeishiwa mimi siende upiga kibarua ni wewe ulete tuhubiri nayo haleluya haleluya now i must hammer this word ndio watu wengine hapa amuka enda fanya biashara katika mpango wa bwana haleluya enda ufanya ajira ama ufungue kampuni andika watu kazi sasa mungu anataka kuangalia utatimiza hatima 
Na katika hali hiyo Mungu anasema kama ni vita nitapigana. Na nasema nitavunja mwashuri katika nchi yangu. Mwashuri ni madhabahu pingamizi. Mbazo malengo yao ni kwamba usipate kazi, usitimize hatima. Listen, if there's anything that Satan is really concerned is you and your destiny. The concern of the devil is that you should not fulfill it. And the concern that God has is that you must fulfill it. So who is in the opposition? Satan is in the opposition. What is he opposing? Your pursuit for destiny. Nani anapinga na shetani kazi yake ni kupinga wewe kutimiza maksudi ya Bwana. Na Yesu kilio chake ni je wewe utatimiza hati malini. So if you see Jesus crying, he's crying because watu wake wanaangamia Hosea 4:6. That my people are being destroyed for lack of knowledge. Kwamba watu wangu wanaangamia kwa kukosa maarifa. Maarifa ni gani? Maarifa moja hapo ni kwamba unahitaji Mungu ili wewe utimize hatima. Usitumie nguvu zako mahali ambapo Mungu hajakuita. So when you fail, you are failing us as well. And by extension you are failing God. Maeneo tungefika hatutafika. But thank God kwamba anaweza badilisha kwa na spare wheel. Wala ambao wamekataa kufanyisha Mungu na ambao nyango chukua taya namba 16 weka hapa. So unachukua mahali penye taya ya namba 13 ingeingia na taya namba 13 ileta kichwa. Unachukua taya namba 16 na tuingize na bado huduma itaendelea. Someone nataka ujue kwamba Mungu hajafurahi. Na hata furahi kama wewe utatimiza hatima. Na ghadhabu zake na hasira zake zitaonekana ultimately siku ya kiyama. Utaona utamwona Mungu ndio utamwona simba wa Yuda ana nguruma. Hapa ngurumi ngoja siku hiyo simba wa Yuda ana nguruma. Simba wa Yuda ana nguruma simba. Nakwambia siku hiyo utamwona simba the lion of the tribe of Judah. Atanguruma maana wewe nilitumwa kama nabii kama mtume ni kutayarisha ungea kwa hatima lakini ulingedia ama ulinyeta Siku hiyo atanguruma na atanguruma na fimbo mkononi Kadogo tu hivi atakona eh atakuwa anafanya piki piki ponki hakuna hiyo binguni atanyoroshwa tu hivi ikinyoroshwa hivi automatically kuna malaika ambao ni mabouncer <laughs> weka hiyo pande huo aki nyoroshe upande huu ina maana yake walio mbuzi hao watakuwa left walio kondoo watakuwa right na utasikia mgrumo kama radi ghadhabu zake that means judgment na itakuwa ni kwa ajili ya watu wale ambao tunaangaliana you say god sijafanya hiyo because unajua sina kazi yes anajua una kazi lakini alikwambia enda kwa mtu wa Mungu kuna anaombenga watu muujiza upate kazi I pray for miracles here but whether you get it and come back or don't come back hizo zingine tunawaachia Yesu kama lilina waliuliza watu tisa hawa walikuwa wapi mbona mmoja ndiye amerudi baada ya kuombewa hata wewe ulie wa tisa wewe ulio miongoni mwa wale tisa ngoja siku yako lakini thank be to God kuna wale walio wa moja ambao walirudi akasema eh hey, mimi Yesu I have come back when you Messiah oh wonderful Jesus watu hao wako ambao wanafurahia anga sana kurudi kwa Yesu na asante lakini wale tisa wende kama saizi ya inaonekana haionekani kwamba kuna hukumu ya Bwana but wait on that day so Mungu ameniweka hapa onyango preach the word yes lord Tell them, yes God, waambie na ikiwezekana wasaidie hata kama wanipendi. Sio kuna watu nawasaidia na hata tu. I mean, haupendi Mungu lakini tunakusaidia tu <laughs> because tulitumwa. Nile tu atuchague mali tumetumwa. Yaani kama ningeambiwa nyango chagua mali utaenda. Kaambia baba, tera Japan. Kaambia <laughs> baba, tera China. Yaani peleka mi China. 
Ching ching chong chi, one million. <laughs> ching ching chong chi, a hundred billion. Like in Ambiam Africa. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm. Praise be to Jesus. Simurene mkono kwa wana wa jamani. Mwa Afrika nyuele ngumu. Kuhubiri katikati yao. <laughs> Kama una mafuta. Hapa uwezi ubiri. Lakini buwana wa saidi. Hallelujah. So tumetuma hapa. Jua ya kwamba. Kama utakubali injili hii. Ama kama utaikata. It is not our business. Because I'm not looking for followers. Mimi na, na, na kamlisha kazi ya buwana. So that siku hiyo. Ushiwa mkune shitaki. Ati yesu anaita. Uh, umesema. Uh, siku hiyo. This was miaka ya 2014, 2000, okay, tuko 2021. So, ukusikia njili. Nari, wakati hizo, mubiri wa area hizo, likuwa netuwa nani? Unyango. Unyango yupi? Marco Chin. Wapi? Revelation. Ukusikia kiubiri? Mm-mm. <laughs> Wacha, watacheza kanda moja tu. Ndatokea. So, munga nasema, ili munga, Hali hiyo isitoke. Because hiyo siku itakuwa siku, mre, siku ambayo watu ni mabilioni. Wanaoja kukumiwa. God will not want to waste time. Ndiyo mana tuko saa hii. Onyango ubiri. Nyota wakoka wakoke, nyota kata wakatae. Na badai kuna ukumi ya watu ambayo wakata wakofu. I will preach it one of these Sundays. It is in the book of John. The same John 3.16. Watu wangina wasomangi the next verses. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten that whosoever believeth in should not do what but rather have what? I at 20 verse number 18. <laughs> uh-huh. He that believeth not on him is not do than what? He that believeth on him is not condemned. But he that believeth not in uh, in him is condemned already. Because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten son of God. Please, the Bible is yours. I'm not an author of the Bible. I'm just an interpreter. Angalia hiyo biblia. Na ndiyo hukumu yako number one. Sama waza looking for judgment. Ndiyo hiyo. What waroka? Tunanguruma hapa okoka. Sama nda okoka. Siku nye. Yesa menipangia. Nda okoka tu wakati yesa menipangia. <laughs> Asa ndiyo hiyo. Ukuna hiyo. Hiyo ni judgment ukuna hiyo. Aya tuli basi. Kuna hote nasema hichi. Nya nasema hii biblia yake hii ni Greek. Let's go back to John 3.16. <laughs> For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Comma, now whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. That whosoever believeth on him should not be a product of Hosea 4. Six, but rather have what everlasting life. Kwa jinsi he, bwana liupenda nini munga liupenda ulimwengu. Kiasi kwamba akamtoa mwana wake wakipeke ili kila muaminiye asifanya nini asiangamie bali awe na wazimu wa melele. Verse 17 For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world should, I mean, the world through him might be saved. Kwa mungu haku mtuma mwanae, eh, mwana wake duniani kuyuhukumu, badala yake, dunia, ikapata kuokoka kumpitia yehi, ama kuokolewa. Nani yo hii tunayubiri mwokoke? Then, hukumu verse number 18. Yule ambaye, he that believeth on him is not condemned. Kamu tamuamini yesu, uja hukumiwa. Na namina hapa kuna watu amuna hukumu msha muamukubali yesu. Lakini kama kuna hukumu itakupata, itakupata juweo msha muamini yesu, 
alafu naenda kama watu wa dunia unaishi katika mwili na hapo Paulo anakuambia eh hey, wokovu sio tikiti ya dhambi kama ushamwamini Yesu then enenda kwa kulingana na matako ya kiroho you are a spiritual man usifanye makosa ya kwenda kwa mwili maana kwenda kwa mwili utakufa so yule kwa watu wale ambao hajamwamini Yesu tunapiga kelele unakataa tutaendelea kupiga kelele tu lakini wale ambao umemkataa but he that believeth not is condemned on really kuna watu ambao wanaishi lakini na hawa tikiti yao ya kwenda hell inangoja tu kwa na kwa kuandikiwa laini ya red kwa hawa watu ni watu wenye kana hukumu kama hujaokoka una hukumu yani usichasikia neno lakini umekataa Unasikia lakini hapana mimi mambo na Yesu no dunia ni tamu mangele pana zilizopendwa bado ni tamu Taokoka wakati Yesu karibu arudi <laughs> Endelea na hiyo ujinga Taokoka kama Yesu karibu arudi Anaweza rudi leo ama kesho Please usiniite <laughs> Haleluya Onyango konyaka okanya sai okanya alkoni If you don't understand that one just please assume it me Peter. But he that believeth not is condemned. Yule asiye amini already amehukumiwa. Yaani tayari because he has not believed in the name of the only in the name of the only begotten son of God. Jina la Yesu ina gharama wewe ikatae saa hii. Okoka. Taokoka na taokoka 2024. Okoka 2027 bado. Okoka 2030 nayo yafika. Pokea Yesu. Nasikia nakuja 2070. Ntaokoka 2069.5. <laughs> Watu wa mko hapa? Uko hapa? Hey. Ngoja ifika hiyo 2069.5. <laughs> Utaamu kwa upate watu wote walishaida bikuni. Ah, uh, haleluya. Okay, tunde pole pole. Haleluya. Haleluya. Wewe unaniongezea bonga points za kwenda bikuni because unanisikia. Lakini usidhani kwamba sitapata taji maana hujaokoka. Bado taji nimepewa, nitaongezewa. Maana injili hii nimeihubiri. What you do with it is your own business. So wale ambao mmekataa already mko katika hukumu. And this is the condemnation verse 19. That light is coming to the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. Eh nisomee kwa hiyo kwa Kiswahili 19. Yohana 3:19 Biblia inasema na hii ndiyo hukumu ya kuwa nuru mm. imekuja ulimwenguni mm. na watu wakapenda giza kuliko nuru Ehe. kwa maana matendo yao yalikuwa maovu. Ah watu wako hapa? Si mko hapa. Aya. For everyone that doeth evil hateth light. Neither cometh to the light lest his deeds should be reproved. Eh Kiswahili Maana kila mtu atendaye mabaya huichukia nuru mm-hmm. wala haji kwenye nuru mm-hmm. matendo yake yasije yakakemewa Sasa hebu imagine wenye wanakataa kuja kanisani Eh hey, nikienda pale watanimulika eh hey, watanijua kwamba naishi na moyo wenyewe eh hey, watajua kwamba mimi na uzanga changaa kwa packets na beba kama makeup na ni changaa eh hey, watajua kama mimi nakuja kanisa lakini pia nategemea dumba na uganga. Oh, they will know. Let me go to a church ambao wanimuliki muliki. Ambao hawaoneoni watu. Hapa tutakumulika tu. Kuna vile leo watu wame vitu zimewatoka. <laughs> eh? Eh? But he that doeth truth cometh to the light. Nilisema watu zima simu yako maana hakuna mpesa taingia katika hali ya kuitegea zima tu kizima mpesa na kutafuta hata hiyo kazi lakini yenye nakuchanganya kanisani ya ina Mungu ndani 
But he that doeth truth cometh to the light. Oh, come and you ripa sadaka your place in Lipwe. That his deeds may be made manifest that they may that they are wrought in God. Mtarwashina moja. Lakini nini? But he that doeth truth bali yeye atendayo kweli kuja uh-huh. kwenye nuru uh-huh. ili matendo yake yaonekane wazi ya kuwa yametendwa katika Mungu umesikia hiyo bwana asiwe so katika wewe kutimiza hatima kuna barabara utafuata so Mungu anameshia ameka apostle ameka prophet ameka evangelist ameka preacher ameka a teacher then ameka pia miracle workers kuna watu ambao hatima yao inabidi Mungu afanyishe tu muujiza aone muone muujiza that's why tumechukua all those hours roa bwana kuonyesheni signs and wonders that's a session that you don't record kwa camera one of which ndio hiyo una vile bado kunazunguka jua inawaka mvua inakuja ni kama ndio kukuja haikuji because this is the day that the lord has made na lazima nifikisha ujumbe waingie baada ya hapo ndio Mungu afanye nini naambia okay Hizo ni ishara deliverance kuotolewa maangaiko kuondolewa mauti na maafa Those are signs and wonders Lakini kuna watu baada ya hiyo yote wanambia utaokoka uh, I'm not sure Utapokea Yesu niwashe mume wa wenyewe saa hii vile kuna corona corona hii na maisha ni ngumu No, chips bado ni tamu. Maana kuokoke na maanisha <laughs> mke mme wenyewe uliona yeye akanyage frame. Biashara ya magendo na yotegemea achana nayo. You cannot peddle drugs and peddle I mean, and walk with Jesus. Think of why all women want to look naked. Kujiuza uza. Na kuna wanaume ambao wanazunia tu lunch because ile skate nyumevaa. <laughs> eh umetokea. Ako ka blouse. Sema eh. Ataka moja sema lunch. Shika. Umetokea. Na wewe pia kwa ujinga yako unasema ah ya kweli. Na unachukua ndio hiyo. Mimi <laughs> mwanangu nasema eh unaua au ah, unaua. Uwaneni tu onyango mako chini na kuambia kuna kifo ingine. <laughs> Enya inanga mwisho siku hiyo. So kuna watu kama ukiwaambia si okoke saa hii. Eh, hizi ma lunch za wanaume ambao si lale na wao lakini tu ili nikijitokea tu hivi ni ma lunch tu 1000 lunch. Ju nimetokea tu mzuri na skirt. Hey. Another 500 junior yangu tu ni smart. Eh. Hey. Yaani vyati yangu tu vile natembea nikikanyaga step 1 eh step 2 ah step 3 wanamwanga pesa nikitembea nikiokoka ni wacha hizi zote ah nitaokoka 2030 ndio nitaokoka 2069.5 ndio nitaokoka watu kama wako ukiwaambia injili ya kuokoka ah ah niambie injili ya mikutajirika niambie injili ya mimi kuwa na utajiri. Wata kupigia makofi mpaka stool kwa hewa, hata vikiri za plastic kwa hewa, ikivunjika wanakuletea ya cushion. Maana unahubiria prosperity. So niwaambieni. Wewe kumpokea Yesu imekuwa mpango wa wewe kutimiliza hatima. That in the plan of God God has also ordained that you get saved. Lakini kuna vitu ambazo eh, kuna mambo ambazo Mungu anaweza kukupa tu hapo umekata kuokoka so that on that day there will be no excuse. Now look here. Sote ambao tuko hapo umekata kuokoka uko hapa ni mikate tu. Hukumu yako iko ndio hiyo kwa Yohana tumekusomea. So mambo na hatima Mungu anasema atavunja mwashuri, ataharibu madhabahu, ataharibu milima, ataharibu pingamizi zote, atazifanya makapi so that tutimize hatima. That's verse 25 of Isaiah 14. That I will break the Assyrian in my land and upon my mountains tread him under foot. Na 
Then shall his yoke depart from off them. So, his yoke ni konga ile, nira ile ya kishetani. Bwana sema kwamba, baada ya vita, yo, konga yo itavunjika. Na mzigo, ulio kulemea, itaondoka mabegani mwako. Mzigo hindi ogani. Mbezo mbunazo. Kama sasa hapa luna watu ambao tunawambea. Sinu nawambea tunawona kama mtu anashika kichwa hivi. Alafu nona mabege yake anafanya hivi. Ni mizigo zinatoka. Ni kama walishonewa kwa kichwa na wakashonewa kwa mgongo. Yesu wakasema njeoni. Eh, bi, bi, bi. Eh, come, 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 come. Nini watu ambao melemona mizigo. I, the Lord Jesus, shall give you rest. And for exchange, I shall give you my own yoke that is easier and smoother. That should be Matthew 11.28. Hallelujah. Yesu wakasema njoni kwangu wote mnao lemewa na mziko. Nami, taopa pumziko. Pumziko amba wa mungu wanakupa ni wewe kuingia katika hatima. Mahangaiko, mateso, masumbuko, paku nasamunda kujinyonga. So ni metumu wapa ni kuambia, please usijinyonge. Please don't die. We still need you. And the only way ni Yesu Christo. Yesu wakisema kamba, nami takupa pumziko. Takondolia nira ulio nayo. Nikubalishie nira yangu ilio laini tena nye pesi. Hallelujah. The process ya hiyo Ndiyo hii munga metuweka. That's why hakuna nabi, onge nabi mabuolu mwolu. Onge, onge nabi mabuolu buolu. I've said that there is no prophet who is a, who is a, a democrat, a moderate. There is no way a prophet can be a moderator. No way. Hakuna vile nabi atakuwa, atakuwa moderator. Mutu wa, hapa mutu muamu wale muwale mutu 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 wana samanga mutu aina gani mutu mpole prophet nabi mpole wakia ni kuambie nina fimbo hapa <laughs> nina bakora hapa nina masururu hapa nina vitu ambazo ziko hapa ambazo nazitumia kulingana hali yako jinsi ilivyo na anasema aje buwana kama nitamvunja mwashuri ambaye amekukalia usitimize hatima. Wote tunawaambia watu tunapigana vita, tunachoka, wanafaulu lakini wakishafaulu they never remember onyango mako chini. Anyway, praise be to God still. Because the law will remember me. Ile vita tunapigana. There are sometimes after preaching like this, you want to imagine God, I want to sleep for one week. One full week si banduki, usingize tu. Mujo singizi ya wanu wiki ni kwenda binguni. E, nye ubanduki, hallelujah. So, kini kwasa ya wanu wiki ujia balo na lala binguni. <laughs> Ime lala, adhi vision. Lakini munga nakataka kutupeye usingizi. <laughs> Unamazi mnafiki leo mungu nita lala seven days. Unasiki ni kano wasema nye, my son, nita lala seven days. Unafika nyimbani unakao, kinguja seven days. Sasaba usiku balo unakuja seven days. Umelala, utashukia saa kumi na mojo meamuka. Shinda seven days mungu ilienda. Unakwambia kesho. Kazi. Tunapitia mateso kama hayo. Na ugumu kama hiyo. Ndiyo mutu uingie kwa hatima. Sila ambazo tumepewa ndiyo hizi. Tunapika nazo madhabao zizo kufunga. Nyororo zilizo kufunga. Pinga mizi ambazo na kupinga usingia kwa hatima. Munga naambia onyango nga omano. Tia kibano. And that is where the prophetic mantle or a prophet's mantle is necessary. Anye kazi ya nabi ni ngumu. Kazi ya apostle na nabi. Ni ngumu. Ujia mchungaji. Kuna vitu ngini ya tutakuambia. Najua utakufa lakini si kuambi. Mchungaji, najua unakufa lakini ya kuambi. Takuambia God loves you. Mchungaji anajua, anazakuwa anajua kwa mba. Unatembe vibaya lakini because I don't want to lose you in church. Kwambia well. Let's keep praying, hoping kwa mba kesho utawacha dami. Prophet, nabi. 
asema bwana tena asema mara hii na anarudia kwamba kesho kama hautatubu utakufa utapata kuna nyondaka ukana mimi hivi lakini wakisikia eh hey, anaenda kutaribia madhabao atawaribia lakini mlango tunaangalia akimaliza hivi wadhi adhia kama express pia tunaenda tu express but also that one i don't mind nyeri tuko sana na wewe lakini mimi na Mungu ni wapenda nao baadaye upendo wa Mungu naye ni kali anakupenda leo lakini kesho bado anakunyorosha atasema i love you my son kesho utashindwa hii i love you Mungu wapi utia kuonyesha maana ile vita itainuka na kuambia niko na wewe na hiyo vita na jana alisema i love you my son na aliruhusu vita ikuje Utaacha pigana vita because alisema I love you na sasa ndakana kujia pale. So watu ambao hatima zenyu ndakana ifaulu, Mungu ametuweka na kuna kitu inaitwa gongo la nabii. Mafuta ya nabii. Uwezo wa nabii. Mkono wa nabii. Na ndio hii. Ni nayo. Ndio hii. Kuna watu hatima zao kufollow maisha. Hata walete mapasta moja. nothing will happen. Uzunguke Kenya Afrika wende paka Nigeria urudi. Mm. Ujaribu tafute kwa tibi Joshua but he passed. So nyokuwa nakimbia kwa tibi Joshua amegeuza tibi Joshua kuwa madhabao amegeuza kuwa ni kana kwamba yeye ndio Mungu. Nyasaye amemtumzisha yeye. So aliyomfanya tibi Joshua kuwa ndio Mungu wao. Sasa mtatubu. So kama unaweza kimbia kimbia kwa ma wachungaji hapa na uweka tamia kuna mambo waweze kufanikisha kwa maisha yako because hali yako inahitaji a prophet mantle so hali ya mimi kukuombea utoke katika umateka wa mashetani bao lengo lao ni hati mlionayo usio usitimilize ile silaha itakayotumika inaitwa gongo la nabi prophet mantle Elisha anasema na na Isaiah anasema katika Isaiah 10:27 Isaiah 10:27 And that your yoke plus every other yoke shall be destroyed by virtue of the anointing And as a result the burden that was upon you shall be rolled away Now that is the anointing the prophet's mantle Kiswahili nasemaje mtumishi? Isaya 10:27. Isaya 10:27 inasema tena hmm. itakuwa katika siku hiyo mzigo wake utaondoka begani mwako na nira yake shingoni mwako hmm. nayo na nira itaharibiwa kwa sababu ya kutiwa mafuta. Haleluya. Kwa ajili ya upako nira itaharibiwa. So man sema and it shall come to pass in that day that his burden that is shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing look at that process Now that's Isaiah speaking the prophet of God So the mantle there is the what the prophet mantle at work there is the oil the anointing Nira ikikondokea utatimiza hatima Nira ikikutoka ndio dada unaweza oleka eh hey, ulikuwa wapi mrembo all this why why are you waambia utaweza mudanganya nasema ah awasili a fish hidden in the ocean lakini ukweli ni kwamba nilikuwa mfungwa niko katika minyororo ndio maana ukunipata i was a slave devil slave so na wake msidanganye kupata mnyana kupenda ambia eh hey, mrembo why are all this while where have you been so si jiringi ringi afu nasema eh hey, unajua nilizofanya catwalk wanafanya nga hivyo bila <laughs> na kufanya zile za lakini sema ukweli How why kuonekana japo lijipaka mascara maka kajipaka lotion kajipaka cream kajipodoa black kakuwa green kakuwa pink kajaribu uwe yellow yellow 
hawakukuona in spite of all that lakini sema nili, nili sema mimi nilikuwa kifungoni shetani alinifunga until Yesu akaniokoa nira iliondolewa ndio nikatokea please msememe hiyo mwanaume hii prince charles where were you ambia you don't say that i was still in my father castle no you are still in prison satan bound you <laughs> akakufungia na makafuli so why itokea kina watu nakwanga tu waongo sema where were you ukipata mjaluo toka nyalugunga where were you ah, i was in my father's castle where in the palace <laughs> na huyu mtu alikuwa anaozea hana mali pa kuenda ndio maana please dada chunga na wanaoma naangiza watu box uende kwa ile box na kuingiza ni nyalitoka but the truth of the matter is kwamba adui alikufunga alikushika so uweze fanya biashara uweze fanya kazi uweze pata ndoa uweze timiza hatima na uweze saidia mtu They don't mind about what wale ambao wako mission they are in operation please hawa ni watu wa operation sasa usimwangalie sana huyu anaitwa Dorcas mara Dorcas achia rachel kende longoria kwa ndio mbujui mbona mashenye naenda sana huko na huyu anaitwa pastor Mary Benzo haleluya haleluya anakaanga pale lakini leo alikaa hapa na size ameenda operation please your attention here kama hautapata mtumishi mwenye ametiwa mafuta hususan kwa ajili ya kuvunja nira yako utasalia kwenye umateka utazeeka na lotion utazeeka na kibarua utazeeka na kutotimiza hatima but the lord has sent me for your deliverance in the name of jesus haleluya So kuna mahali lazima nabii ujua anatumia nini. Kuna hali ambazo kirushinda tunarungu za kiroho tunasema ka with the rod of a prophet I strike. Aya. Ulimwona nabii Elisha akapokea manto from nabii Elia. Na kitu akuambia alitaka ajaribu kumbe kitu inaweza fanya kazi ama kuna muujiza zingine ambazo sijui Mungu asema ndio nataka kujua alimesho kwamba utapita mali penye kuna barabara Jordan so watu ambao mmekewa Jordan hey, I'm feeling cold here hii fani inanipea baridi Mungu anamesho kwamba kuna Jordan ambaye itafunga <laughs> barabara Sasa ile ile manto anyalipokea alifika mahali penye ako stranded he was stranded nitapitaje kwa hii maji sijui ku swim maana the bible does not tell us anywhere that elisha knew how to swim hakujua kuogelea he was not brought in lowland alizaliwa maeneo ambapo hakuna mitoni sasa juu kuogelea okiago abal hiyo <laughs> nja unanisikia juu kupiga nini ajuku ku swim akasema ere nya sach ngat ni endi nya sach ela elija ya okideri akauliza na wapi huyu Mungu wa Elia akatumia mato akapiga nao maji ikafanyika barabara inchi kavu pa baba does not tell us whether he thank god he just simply walked in it a mantle kwa maisha ya sasa watu wale ambao you are in a stagnation you are barricaded you are limited maisha yako ina vizuizi you need a prophet mantle akuje tu napiga hali hiyo ipatikane nini vizuizi hakuna so katika wewe kutimiliza hatima ipatikane nabii ambaye ana 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 kitu ya kutumia kuondoa mipaka ya maisha yako bwana yesu asifiwe haleluya hapa Hallelujah. These people who walk, walk around can you sit down because some of these people wana kuangalia kama movie. They should focus on this message. Hati mayako wa jamani, hati mautetewa, hati mopiganiwa. 
kama kuna sababu Yesu alikufa msalabani <laughs> maandiko yasema kwamba kwa jinsi hii Mungu alipenda ulimwengu akupenda milima akupenda buildings akupenda majengo akupenda wanyama wildlife akupenda samaki kwa bahari no akupenda sungura kwa mwituni akupenda suara maana akulange hiyo nyama kwa jinsi hii Mungu aliupenda ulimwengu yani alipenda watu hawa ambao ndio sisi so much kwamba akamtoa mwana wake wa kipekee ili tusiangamie jinsi Hosea 4:6 sita inavyosema badala yake tuokolewe tuwe na uzima wa melele uzima ambao tunatimiza hatima uzima wa melele tutaipata maana umetimiza hatima kama mimi sasa natimiza hatima hatima yangu nimeinuliwa nime kwa ajili ya wewe Mungu ameniweka hapa kwa ajili ya msaada wako. Nimewekwa hapa nitumia maspana za kiroho, nitumia pliers za kiroho, nitumia hama za kiroho, nitumie vifaa vya kiroho, msimeno ni nini masuhuru, bulldozer, katapila ama hata helikopta za kiroho ili wewe uingie kwa hatima yako. Wa jamani mngelijua. Mngelijua what we go through. Nani maana Mungu atakasirikia watu siku ya kiyama? Atakwambia ondoka hapa. I never knew you. He'll say so. But of course hapa anakujua. Na amekuwekea onyango ya kuhubiria. You see, you may be a kalenjin. You may be a kisi. You may be a luya or a luo. You may be whoever you are, an Asian, Mwarabu, Mjikenda, Mkosi, Mturukana, Masai but god has placed me here for you so kisema mimi siwezi ubiriwa na nabii ambaye sio kabila la kwetu ilal you are lost umapotea wana nabii wako nyu hana gongo haleluya na gongo mungu pia ni nitapea na wewe ni nabii wewe ni nabii jaluo haya ndakupea gongo la wajaluo wote wasaidie ninyi wote hapa wajaluo sijui ni wawili watatu hao wengine wote ni makabila zingine So ukiingia na pumbavu kwamba gongo nitatafuta nabii mwenye gongo la kwetu. Taendelea kutafuta. But remember kwamba hatima yako God has a stake. That's why nakuitisha 10%. Hatima yako Mungu ako na share. Amekuwashia 90% kula 10%. Unaishi namna gani na mke wako? Unaishi namna gani na mume? kama una mume unaweza fanya dhambi Mungu anako concern eh hey, hey, hey. hata mayu apate hata anaweza kuwa kahaba angaiza asumbua ah, wanaume wenyewe malaika wote pangarini area nene kwa unyango na hubiri anza kupanga wanaume yule ambaye nataka huyu aoleke na yeye na sasa hizo nimepiga nduru na rungu nikipiga madhabao zile ambazo nakupiga na upofu usione mwanaume haya hizi mafumbo nimechanganya is someone getting me nimeongea na mafumbo mengi kama nabii je unanishika Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sasa kwa fimbo lile tunapiga madhabao pingamizi. Tunaondoa vitu vinavyokuzuilia. Tunaharibu mateka ambao umekuteka. Every delay in your life lazima sisi tuiharibu. Kila maroho zinazokupinga lazima tujiingize kwa moto ambao unakuchoma. Tuiambia utachoma hapa. Na sisi tunaweza chomeka. Then unapata watu ambao they despise prophets. Wacha nikwambie saa hizi Mungu atakuonyesha kwamba Mungu saa atakusimalia simalia atakusimalia hii Lakini siku hiyo ya kiama smile lakini timiza hatima Disobey me yes but fulfill destiny Maana siku hiyo <laughs> Siku hiyo utashangaa Kata tu kujenga kanisa <laughs> Kata tu kulipa dhabihu kataa tu kulipa nadhiri ulizonazo wewe kataa tu kujenga nyumba ya Bwana wewe kataa tu kutumia vipawa wewe kataa tu kutumia karama wewe ringa tu na mwito ulioitiwa wewe ringa nayo kana kwamba tu ni yako kataa kuwa tu msumbufu kwa kazi ya Bwana then chagua tu mapasa vile unachagua chagua tu manabii vile unachagua endelea but in the meantime we shall hammer the word 
Bora tu katika ile kukataa. <laughs> Usikose kutimiza hatima. Maana kama utakosa kutimiza hatima there will be no remedy the day shall come penye the master jesus will say the reason for your judgment kuna watu hawakusaidika maana uliringa kuingia kwa hatima lakini huko ingia kwa hatima maana uluchagua nabii maana nabii uliyetumiwa uliona kwamba si kabila la kwenu na hana kisomo ambacho ulitarajia na anatoka nchi nyingine ambayo inakaa pronunciation ni kinya na majina yake na sound horrible onyango mako sheng ni twenga majina hiyo haikupendezi na sura yake pia na kaa tu lion lion sasa ukupenda that will not be an excuse mungu anasema nilimtuma lakini ulikata ona vita ambayo tunapigana tunapewa manto kuna vita ulivyonavyo madevo worship wamekusurround wanasema tunataka first born tunataka last born ukishapeana wote unakwambia tukushiba tunataka your wife na kuna adabu shamba na bala aseme eh oi bala aseme si munichukue mimi wacheni my wife wani wachoyo bala akubali hivyo unachukua my wife asa ndabaki na nani unachukua my wife okay they better eh Unachukua ma, your wife alafu anakupatia Mercedes Prado V8 unang'ara nayo town lakini uliuza bibi yako So sasa zile ndio kwa hati mwanasema umeenda wapi Kanga ka Yesu kwa Mungu kanisa gani nabii yupi onyango makonga Aya kikuyu tuliyoko kanisani madhani ya gosho Madhani ya gosho wakikui na waona 1 1 2 3 4 mnanyamaza mikono hewani haleluya haleluya si mnawaona aya waluya ya western bwana sasiwe haleluya hawa wamechanuka mapema <laughs> jogot watu wa milimani wakalenjini haleluya Okay, jifiche tu. Ah okay, wao wamejiatu wamejionyesha. Haleluya. Haleluya. Haya wakisi watu lionao hapa. Haleluya. Haleluya. Muko area. Praise be to Jesus. Acha niniwaambie. Wakati Mungu anapena gongo la kinabii, angaliangi kabila. Na mimi nikitumwa usiniangalie na hizo macho za placement. Where do you come from? One woman called me. Alafu baada mimi bale asema nataka kusaidika kwa simu. Sasa tunaongea alafu anaambia ah na wewe kwenu ni nimeona wewe ni wa kwetu. Kwenu ni wapi? Akaingia short wave. <laughs> Nikasema hai huyu amepotea. Asay my dear. Unataka nikusaidie? Mungu alikusema nikusaidie ama you want to know where I come from? Where I come from? And me minister I've got no connection with that nilitoa yake kwa whatsapp na nikatoa yake kwa my phone na sijaonga na yeye tena because kuna watu ambao they want to know kabla hujawaombea eh hey, which village do you come from and which city do you come from and uh, which family do you come from which university did you attend and how many degrees do you have did you really see jesus in a vision and how does he look like uliona mungu kweli anafananaje Hizo hesabu wewe ni sawa na mtu ambaye anataka kula uyoga lakini anaangalenga chini ya uyoga dudu hawa ni wangapi ukifanya hivi dudu watatoka kwa uyoga ama ni wavaza vitu ni mushroom mimi nimekula mushroom <laughs> please say kama ni nabii acha na mushroom katika hali zafanya makosa mimi nilikuwa nakula obolo mushroom then unaiguza hivi nikakuna ma- number one, mushroom ni rep rep mushroom uyoga ni nyepesi nikasema nataka ni fry ni kule kama muuni so kuangalia naangalia naona dudu natoka by the way uyoga ina wadudu wengi sasa hali ya ujana ile tudanganya kwamba unaweza fanya dudu siishe kitamfanya dudu iishe umeharibu obolo umeiharibu sura 
Haleluya. Haleluya. Sasa mimi pia ukianza kuhesabu nilienda wapi? Nilienda mbinguni kweli na nikarudi. Nilipelekwa kuzimu kweli nikarudi. Na hii mambo nasema ni kweli. Who are the witnesses? Kitambo pige hizo hesabu zote. Utakufa bila kutimiza hatima. Wewe pokea msaada wa Yesu ambao umepewa, kubali nabii uliyepewa, amini nabii uliyepewa. Haleluya. Fuata ma fuata maagizo, follow instructions. And it shall be well with you. Now, Second Chronicles 2020. Ina Mungu aka Yoshafati akasema you people The Lord is saying that believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established and believe in his prophets and so shall you prosper So you have to believe kwamba nimetumwa na Bwana Hallelujah Hallelujah Bwana asifiwe. Watu wa Moranga we are coming there. Tunakuja Moranga. Watu wa Kitui we are coming. Tarecheni shamba. Hawajaangalia <laughs> kama mimi ni kabila ingine. Haleluya. Because God is concerned. Mungu atatoa mtu mbali sana. Akuja kuondoe katika nira na umateka so that you fulfill destiny. Sasa malala kwa kitanda ya hospitali, eh, IC ama ICU. You can never choose your doctor. Hata kama una pesa ngapi utachagua wewe. Nataka madoktari wenye na PhD 20. Nataka madaktari ambao hmm, wana permanent head damage kama 20 hivi. PhD that simply means permanent head, head damage. Your head get damage mpaka una saw your village. Nita PhD. Au utachagua pale umelala sema yani huko karibu na binguni god whom are you sending and isaidie onyango mako chien maana kuna kitu tumepewa kila nabii kuna kitu amebebeshwa ambaye itakusaidia haleluya ambaye itakusaidia so muamini maana ufanishi wako ipo Mungu amefunganisha ndani yake kwa wengine ni sustenance uko tu pale yeye yeah, anakulaa na kulinda. Na Jeremiah talks about that one in Jeremiah chapter 1 verse number 18. Haleluya. Anaiongelea. Jeremiah anazungumzia katika Yeremia moja mstari wa 18. Preservation, yani kuna watu ambao hatima yako tu ina uko pale una prosper pale unaendelea tu pale. For behold I have made thee this day a defense city watu wenye vipawa you need a defense city talk out of this city wona vile utakanyango huko nje i've made you this day a defense city mji ulio na mahandaki and an iron pillar mungu amenifanya leo hii kufanyika gongo la chuma and a brazen walls amenifanya kuta la chuma hmm? chuma so kuna kuwa na chuma za fedha shaba against the whole land kwa ajili ya dunia ya nchi mzima against the kings of judah uh, against the princes thereof against the priests thereof and against the people of the land mungu amenifanya hivyo kwa ajili ya mambo hayo sasa kuna watu wale ambao lazima tukae na wao in this city. Ukuta ambao Mungu ameniweka kama nabi. Kuna watu ambao mimi lazima niwaombe, mimi lazima niwatunze, biashara zao hali zao zitunzwe. I went one time to Muranga. <laughs> Family moja ambao hali zao. Walitaji nabii aliye na gongo. Mke hawezi pata mtoto mimba inatoka. Wakizaliwa vijana, mbegu za ume ama zile mnaitanga eh, testicles za wavulana inabaki juu. Wavulana kama hao wakiba, wakibalehe wanakuwa kama watowashi. Kila kitu ni mgonjwa, things don't work. Uko nilitumwa. 
Na kwa sababu nilikuwa na gongo la kinabii walihitaji msaada huu. Kuna watu mna minyororo. Mna vifungo mlilaniwa mlitajwa maneno, mlisemwa maneno. Na akwambia dunia hii hainanga marafiki. Hai, dunia hii si rafiki ya mtu. Yes, Mungu alipojua hiyo alitoa Yesu kama kama dhabiu alimtoa ili muokoke kwa ajili ya hatima yenu kuokolewa. I went to another place called Engineland. And my tribe, regardless, <laughs> liomba kule. Now they are beneficiaries of this anointing and grace over my life. Kwa wakamba. Paka leo sasa kwa natuwa kanisa. Wanapeana. Busia. Mungina wanaitana kisi tufungue huko. You must go beyond mipaka hiyo. Gongolini ni nalo, haijandi kwa hii, tumikia tu watu wa kabila moja. I've been called for the nations. Mbwana aswiwe. So kuna watu ambao mafuta hiyo gongo, hawa ili kwa mba hati mazao zizidi kufaulu. Lazima wakai katika himaya ya kinabi. Ile vipawa zao ifanye kazi, wakai kwa himaya. You can be in America, but you are under the cover. Enye munga likupea. So we are not atufungi mutu hapa, please. Ukiitua China, please go quickly. Kikuta Japan, enda haraka sana. Di utumane Japanese. Japanese yen. Wanyo wateke kusema, wateke kuna Japan. Baba, mi nakuja Japan. Hallelujah. Nasikia tu mafuta ya buwana. So kuna gongo hili tulionalo. Lazima ikatumika tunakusaidia vita. Utoke kifungoni. Utoke magerezani. Utoke mahandaki za gizani. Uondoke kuna magonya mbazo ibilisa takufunga nazo. Weze nda Amerika because wene mtu wa kuzimia zimia. Tutambaya na zimia zimia. Wadaza luka tafikiria. Asiende boarding school. Ata zimia uka na zakufa. Asiende kusoma UK kuna maridi sana. Hii akae tu hapa oze kwa shule hii ya mita. Hapa hapa. In the meantime, hatima yako haiko hapa. Iko huko. We kupitia Japan, kupitia UK. But shetani na kuweka ugonjo wa mungina mbao. Unanguka anguka. Mwana wama nge kuowa. Anuna siku moja tumu naongea. Unanguka mpaka unafanya kifafa, 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 kifafa. Povu mudomoni. Sama hundo naowa. Ma, is this, is this, we know now how we be young, my brother, you are dead here. Ah, 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 ah. Satan and a Kwambia, who is your, lakin in the calendar of God, we know Mkewako. I'm going to your husband. And I'm going back and I'm going to Nyorosha, Aksha Nyorosha, and I'm going to 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 Nyorosha, Shetani ya na mtandika na ugonjwa mbawa yeleweki. So kuna magonjwa mbazo shetani ya zetumia. Hile hati mamutu ya uta ingia. So mwanamuke wewe. Utajipata unaoleka na kitu kingine. Because uyu. Mada. Yetu yonde wako. Dawa ni gongo la nabi. Munga na kuambia enda revelation wisdom ministries. Wapi? Na yu jine na sound mrefu. Kwa ni mungu. Ungesema kitu kama A, C, K, P, A, G. Ungesema majina kama hiyo mungu, Baptisti. God, uko ni mbali, hiyo jina ni mbrefu. Ni meenda, apostoliet. Apostoliet ni apostolic. So nambia mungu, hii kitu naitua, ri, ri, ya, a revolution. Ri, 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 ya, a ri, ya, a ri, ya, a ri, ya, a baba. Ni menda ili karibu wapa. Iyo karibu wapa, shetana nasema one, pa, pa, pa. Tena, pa, pa. Maliza, ka, na uzimia hapo. Please, musiandeni na sadaka. Can you give your offering before you go? Hallelujah. Let us sadaka zako before muende. Mwana yesa asifiwe, weka hapo, ukitoka. Hallelujah. Gongo la nini? Hii vitu liyokuteka lazima ipigwe. 
Hizi umateka lazima ziangamizwe. Zile hali ambazo imekuzulia lazima zibomolewe. Na unatumia gongo la nani? La nabi. Bwana tukuzwe. Ya, vile naona mnaanza kuondoka a tingle tingle one by one little by little a million is not a million without a shilling. Nitabaki nikuhubiria Watu wana sema si umalize haraka. Si umalize haraka. We'll continue this message on Sunday. Hmm. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Umajua hii ndio shida ya Afrika. Una, una sisi sio wa China na sisi sio wa Hindi. Unajua uko na 15 minutes.